Can you see me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. This is amazing. No, this is exciting. I know it's a hologram, but please close your eyes. I promise to you, it's worth it. Right, so you're qualified because you are worth it. Imperial College has such a high bar coding in front of a computer, coding in C++. So I got, I got close to the security because of this thing. But yes, I used to be this person. I now work for Google, for the assistant team. Because I think as much as I would still really... This is like our window to the world, if, if you like. It's about making our business school more open to the world and about taking our business school to the world. So through holograms, we can bring in lecturers from um, across the globe and they can appear in front of our students in a realistic manner. That's the key. So we could use alternative um, webinar software, but we believe the hologram brings something different, that sense of presence. So we're really hoping that um, this technology will bring the outside world into our classes and also enable us to take our faculty um, across the globe. You can be a program manager. You can, be, you can work in partnerships. You can be a data analyst, a data scientist. I used to be shy, and now I'm here talking to you via, because Everyone in my life when I was studying encouraged me to be ambitious. But then someone talked to me about Imperial College London and about a master's in computing science. I actually can see a future where all product development, everything is going to happen. We're essentially projecting onto a screen we're hiding from the audience. And that's really it. But the trick is to make it as believable as possible. We're presenting a 2D image as a 3D image. And um, the iris is flat. So we see everything in 2D, our brain changes it to 3D. So we're doing exactly the same trick. We're presenting a 2D image, but with depth of field and a really good vision, our brain just changes it to 3D. Uh, underlying how clothes were made and mass production processes. And we discovered that a lot of sizes were based off of even in the arts, even in grand opera. From there, I went to business school and I met a friend who was but we built an algorithm for a new approach to sizing, and we launched this company and got venture back at Pixar Studios. We interviewed Janet Martinez, and it also includes you. Thank you. What we want to do in the big scale of things, and how Imperial are really grasping this right at the, sort of the, the dawn of, of, of our industry, is um, they're going to be putting this all around the world into different uh, colleges and universities, business schools, maybe uh, political, into industry, and we create a network. And that means that they can connect with anyone, at any time, any place. And, well, you can see how a network will, will create their own um, uh, audience. So you can, you, can, you can bank any talk you've got, whether it's from Stephen Hawkins to uh, Boris Johnson, whoever it is, and you can replay it any time at a cost. Uh, about eight years ago, co-founded a company called Orchard Platform, uh, raised close to $60 million for that venture. I really am of the opinion that if we're trying to build things that have never been done before... I think we can have three different roles. One is uh, to have faculty teaching at several places in the same times, because with time differences, for example, Asian students, it's not so easy to catch up a lecture in, in the US, for example. Uh, the second thing we could do with that is have CEOs come into the classroom and engage with students. Uh, while we know that time is, is really an issue for CEOs, so it's a new way for executives to come into the classroom. And the third way probably is maybe have Albert Einstein coming into the classroom. We wait for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually had a thought on the nature of the question. Um, I think it's such an interesting question, it never gets asked. And I, I like it a lot because I think each of us has such personal biases about what we studied and you know what we're doing. And I think it's really understand I think it's really important to understand context and personal journey. I think I wouldn't like for example online lectures because there's a lack of interaction. But those kind of technologies are pretty much like exactly like live. So I wouldn't mind it. And I think it's really interesting if we if we can have access to different lecturers and different like guest speakers thanks to that technology mm -hmm. that's something I would Definitely enjoy it. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Fantastic effect. <laughs>